Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Cooler Master Elite 120 Advanced Case. Now, as you can see, the box itself doesn't look that great, but I guess it's what's inside that counts. But you can see that there is a picture of the product on the box and some features and specifications about it. So let me open it up and see what is inside. Or typical case packaging material styrofoam on either side and the case itself is in a plastic bag so let me take it out and let's have a closer look at the case included is a user's manual this is a small form factor case so it's pretty compact it's mainly steel the body is steel but the front is plastic and aluminum here's the five and a quarter inch drive bay cover power button reset button usb 3 port usb 2 port another usb 2 port as well as a microphone jack and headphone jack there's also ventilation on the front a couple of ventilation holes on either side right here and also at the bottom more ventilation on the left side as well as at the top and on the right side you can also install a standard atx power supply in this case and that opens up all kinds of possibilities who knows maybe you want to turn this small form factor case into a really nice gaming rig and for that you're going to need a really good high quality brand name atx power supply also ventilation here at the back here's where the motherboard's io shield plate gets installed two expansion slots as well as a single rubber grommeted hole lots of thumb screws back here three on the top cover as well as two on the expansion slots just making it easier for installation and removal it would have been nice to have thumb screws also on this power supply bracket you'll need to remove this install it on the power supply and then slide the whole thing into the case and with the top cover thumb screws removed all you need to do is slide the cover back and lift it off on the inside of the case they include this bag and in it there's a couple of plastic three and a half inch drive rails these go on either side of the drive and then all you do is slide the drive into the three and a half inch drive bay they also include a lot of cable ties a speaker motherboard standoffs and screws this case fits mini itx form factor motherboards and as you can see there is not a lot of space to work on the inside of this case but that is to be expected i mean this is a small form factor case after all as well you have a support bar here at the top now this can be completely removed or you can reposition it as i mentioned previously there is one five and a quarter inch drive bay you can fit up to three three and a half inch hard drives in here or you can fit four two and a half inch drives and let me explain you have a combination basically of three and a half inch drives and two and a half inch drives they have these adapters which basically convert a three and a half inch drive to accept two two and a half inch drive so with these in you could have like you know up to four two and a half inch drives and maybe one three and a half inch drives or a combination thereof note that installing a five and a quarter inch drive is a toolless operation you can see that this is open and this is locked so put it this way when you're sliding the drive in and when the drive is in put it into position properly and then lock it into place on the bottom of the case there are a number of these punch outs and this is to allow you to organize the cables you don't know, give you something to attach them to there are two fans and both of these intake cool air into the case an 80 millimeter on the right side and a 120 millimeter at the front cables can also be tucked away here on either side of the case and let's take a look at the 120 millimeter fan at the front to do so all you need to do is remove the front panel just pull at the bottom it will come right off and there you have the 120 millimeter intake fan at the front and here's a closer look at the 80 millimeter intake fan on the right side of the case so note that this can be completely removed you might need to remove this if you want to get some extra space now i wouldn't recommend doing that but if you want to remove it it's pretty easy there's only a couple screws at the back and a couple more at the bottom and you can just take it off now you're probably wondering about dust filters in this case well there isn't any dust filters for either of these intake fans but they do have a filter which is removable on the top part of the cover now despite the fact that this is a small case you can fit video cards that are up to 343 millimeters in length that's approximately 13 and a half 
inches. Also CPU coolers that are 65 millimeters in height or two and a half inches. At the bottom, there are four plastic feet. Finally, have a listen to the stock cooling. Now, while most people will go for a mid-tower case because it's more functional than a small form factor case, if you're in the market for a small form factor case, then I would definitely consider this one. Why? Well, it is affordable, looks really nice, it's very lightweight, has, you know, decent cooling you can't expect too much considering it is so small love the way that everything's laid out here on the front lots of ventilation plenty of drive bays you can fit a standard atx power supply inside of it uh, you know it's it has a lot going for it considering its price and also the functionality so for that i'm giving it a kick-ass award until next time take care